Welcome to Golden Software's video training for Surfer 14. Surfer is a versatile gridding, contouring, and surface mapping software package. In this video, I will cover the basics of interpolating XYZ data to produce a grid file. Nine of the 12 map types in Surfer are created from grid files. A grid file is made up of grid nodes or cells. Each grid node has a calculated Z value associated with it, and the nodes are evenly spaced in the X and Y directions. You can download grid files like DEMs from the internet. You can produce grid files in other software packages such as ArcGIS. Or you can interpolate irregularly spaced data points with X, Y, and Z values in Surfer to produce a grid file. To grid a data file in Surfer, the file must contain one column each for X, Y, and Z data. And it must be saved in a supported data file format such as a text file, a CSV file, or an Excel spreadsheet. To grid a data file in Surfer, click Home, Grid Data, Grid Data. Select the data file and click Open. In most cases, the default gridding parameters are suitable and you can simply click OK to create the grid file. However, you can fully customize your gridding options to create the best grid possible for your data. Here we will discuss a few of the more basic options that you can set. In the Data Column section of the Grid Data dialog, you can specify which columns in your data file are the X, Y, and Z columns. If you can't recall which data columns are which, you can click the View Data button to open a preview of your data. Additionally, in this section, you can filter your data and choose to generate data statistics or grid statistics reports. In the Gridding Method section, you can choose from one of 12 available gridding methods. What you choose for the gridding method will depend greatly on your data and what you would like the output to look like. There is no one best gridding method to use for all data sets, or for any particular type of industry. However, there are some instances where some gridding methods may be more suitable than others. The default gridding method, Krieging, produces a good-looking map for the majority of data sets, but it is not an exact interpolator. It can extrapolate grid values beyond your data's original Z range. If Krieging does not suit your needs, we have numerous online and help resources aimed at helping you determine which gridding method to use. Once you have selected a gridding method, you can access additional options for the gridding method by clicking the Advanced Options button. The Output Grid Geometry section allows you to specify the extents and resolution of the grid file. If you need the grid to be an exact size, you can set particular X and Y minimum and maximum values. You can also specify the grid resolution, either by setting the grid spacing or setting the number of nodes. These two values are tied together, so the fewer grid nodes the larger the grid spacing, and vice versa. By default, Surfer sets 100 grid nodes in the longest direction and uses approximately the same spacing to compute the number of nodes for the shorter direction. You can increase the number of nodes up to 2 billion grid nodes in each direction. However, the computer will likely run out of memory before you can create a grid that large. In the Grid Z Limits section, and next to it, you can limit the Z values in the grid file, and you can choose to apply a logarithmic transform to the values. The blank grid outside convex hole of data option assigns no data values to the grid nodes outside of the convex hole of the data. The convex hole is the outer perimeter of all your data points. If you imagine your page is a wooden board and your data points are nails hammered into that board, a rubber band wrapped around all of the nails represents the convex hull. Uncheck the box to extrapolate the grid data to the minimum and maximum grid limits. Check the box to only grid within the convex hull of the data. If you choose to blank grid outside of convex hull of data, there is also the option to inflate or deflate the convex hull. The output grid section allows you to specify the output grid file name, file path, and file type. By default, Surfer will create a Surfer grid file with the same name as the data file and located in the same directory as the data file. However, you can change these defaults by clicking on the yellow Open Folder icon. 
When you are finished setting your gridding parameters, click OK to create the grid file. You will be notified when the grid file is created. The grid can now be used to create maps, calculate volumes and areas, or perform other grid functions. This concludes the video training for gridding data in Surfer 14. If you have any additional questions, please contact Golden Software.